Hi, this is Bruce, and uh, I've got a little, shall we just call this a Turner Tech Tip for the day. Um, I'm involved in uh, many different ministry activities. I have the joy of working for Christian Care Ministry. You can find out more about Christian Care by going to mychristiancare.org. I also play in a worship band. I'm a small group leader. I do an online life group uh, for lifechurch.tv, and I love technology. I love how you can leverage technology uh, for furthering the kingdom of God. And uh, so I'd like to share with you uh, a new find that I just discovered uh, yesterday. Uh, but I want to talk to you a little bit about Bible apps on your smartphone. So let me just take a minute and go to uh, this screen here and talk to you a little bit about what is and has been my favorite Bible app. It's called Uversion. And you can see I've got it here on my beautiful Samsung Galaxy Note 2. It is my uh, smartphone of choice. I love the Android operating system. But Uversion is a great app. Uh, this is the, uh, the particular screen that you bring up every day. And uh, just a number of things that some of you who use Uversion are familiar with. I can go to my, um, I'm on day 35 of a 365 day reading plan and uh, I love this particular plan that I'm on right now because um, I do uh, a couple readings in the morning and then I do a couple of them in the evening before I go to bed. Uh, there's some other great uh, parts of the of the Bible app. You can just uh, go to any one of a number of versions uh, to read. Uh, there's also a number of different languages involved and there's a lot of great uh, reading plans as well. There's even videos where you can watch uh, uh, video presentations. Here's some from the Bible series that was recently on TV. Uh, but when it comes to plans, um, you can browse all kinds of different plans. And there, there, there's all kinds for parts of the Bible, whole Bible reading plans, some for young people and families, just a really uh, great app. So, um, and one of the things that I like that our church uses is the Version Live. And so I'm not sure if there'll be any live events close by here right now. But here's, here's a couple from a church uh, nearby. I go to Blue Ridge Community Church. Ours is not here, but here's, a, here's some, uh, some notes from a service at one of the other great churches here in Lynchburg called Brentwood. The nice thing about this is that you can go to church and you can, uh, if, like our church, they have all of the, all the, uh, the scriptures and the message notes here. You can, uh, this is really a great one. You can add your own notes here. And then after you do that, you can email them to yourself. You can save it as a note. So uh, the Bible app, uh, Uversion, is a great app. Now, if I wanted to go to, let's say, uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, then I would have to click here, and then I'd have to uh, scroll uh, till I got to um, Ephesians, and then I'd have to do chapter 2. And let's suppose I wanted to do verse 8, you know, uh, where we read, uh, For by grace you have been saved through faith. Well, that's one way to do that. So I was wondering, my wife and I were sitting down reading and I said, I wonder if there's a Bible app where you could uh, use voice commands. So Uversion is great for all the reasons I just said, but what if I was, uh, let's say I was at a coffee house. I just got back from a coffee house and there's some community tables at the Muse Coffee House where I like to frequent. And let's suppose somebody sat down there and we struck up a conversation and whether it was sharing the gospel or maybe just sharing uh, some biblical truth or just giving some counsel counsel to somebody as I came across. You know, let's suppose I wanted to go to a particular verse. I'd have to open up the app and and um, and navigate the way I just demonstrated. But, uh, but let me share with you a, an app called eBible because with the eBible app, all you have to do is speak what you want. So let's say I wanted uh, the 23rd Psalm. I just tap on the microphone. Psalm 23, and then it's asking me, do I want Psalm 2-3 or Psalm 23? I probably could have said that better, but let me give you a better example. So there's Psalm 23. Let me try this, Romans 3-10. And it takes me right to Romans chapter three, verse 10, highlights it for a little bit, and then it's there. So if I were, if I were sharing the gospel with somebody, and let's say I was taking them down the Roman road, one of many different ways to present the gospel. Romans 6.23, and it takes me right to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Now, if I were in church or I was in a conversation at the coffee house, probably one of the things I would do is I would turn my volume down because I don't want that little 
beep going off. So let's try this again. John 3.16. And it takes me right there and there's no interrupting noise to beep around somebody. So it's just really, really a great verse. Let's try, uh, let's try one more. Let's do, um, uh, let's just say James 1.8. And it takes me right to James 1.8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So this is eBible. You can find a copy of eBible uh, in the uh, Google Play Store if you have an Android phone. Uh, you can also find it in the iTunes Store. So that's uh, Turner's tech tip for the day. I uh, hope that you enjoy it. I love uh, Uversion. That's my favorite Bible app. But for certain situations, the eBible app would prove invaluable. You can even download several versions. You can have access to commentaries as well. And so you can use it offline. Uh, I'm using it online right now. And so uh, check it out. You can even have it set to where it will. Uh, in fact, I'll just kind of demonstrate that for you before I go. So I'm going to go here into settings and uh, let's go back to uh, let's go back to my other screen and I'm going to click audio on voice. Now, in order for, for this to work, you have to change uh, the version of the Bible you use because the only one that it will work on is the ESV, the English Standard Version. But let's try, um, let's try this. Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God so you and are justified by his grace as a gift. So you can even have it read it when you get there. So just a great feature. So check out Uversion if you don't have that. Everybody ought to have Uversion on their on their smartphone. But it's also eBible. I think it's got some really great features. And I hope you enjoy Turner's Tech Tip. Take care. God bless.